Hey reptile fans, do you want to save money on your reptile hobby? The easiest way to do that is to breed your own feeders. And the best feeders to breed? Mealworms. Mealworms are so easy. Put together a 15 quart bucket, throw some weed in there, put the mealworms in, put some carrots in, and harvest every month. It's that easy. The only problem is, the only problem is sifting out all the frass and all the dead beetles, all the pupa, and all the live beetles. Well, I contacted Space Coast Mealworms recently. They just sent a package to us. This is a sifter. It sifts out the pupa and the beetles, and we're going to try it today. We just got this in today. Let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what this sifter is. And again, the challenge with working with mealworms is getting the mealworms away from the pupa and the beetles. And this is what Space Coast Mealworms sent me. This is the sifter, some nice stickers, some nice information, business card. Here's the handle. We're going to go ahead and put that handle on right now. This is a new design I know they just came out with. And I'm sure I need a screwdriver, but for now, we're going to do it like this. Let's go ahead and remove the labels here. Okay, no stickiness. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw some mealworms on. We're going to actually put this on some buckets, some of the green sifting buckets for mealworms. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the mealworms in here and see how it works. All right, we have our sifter. We have our sorting buckets. These are two different sizes, big and extra fine. We put it on a five gallon bucket. You can find these green sifting uh, trays on Amazon. We take our sifter, we put it right on top. Let's go ahead and grab the mealworms. Now we keep our mealworms in these 27, 28 quart containers. And you can see from here that there's a lot of dead stuff in here. You can see that there's pupa. I don't see any beetles, but we have lots and lots of mealworms and lots of frass. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pan and we're going to throw it right on the tray and see how it sorts out the mealworms away from all the frass and away from the pupa. The big thing here is that I want to save these pupa, put them in another container, and then use that container to hopefully get these pupa to turn into beetles so I can grow more mealworms. Let me show you this from the top so you get a better view of this. This is the tray or the sifter from Space Coast Mealworms, we have our green trays and our bucket. Let's go ahead and start adding some mealworms and frass and pupa. I'm not going to throw a lot in here right now. Just kind of spread it out. And this is about the worst kind of situation I have here. I should have put it in little cups, but we're gonna try this out. Actually, I think the whole thing can go in here. Hope you can see that. Let's go ahead and sift it out. Probably should have tightened that a little bit better. I'm gonna knock this around, folks, so bear with the noise. Kind of stir it around just a little bit. Hopefully this is working. This is, the, the frass is all gone, obviously. Eventually, what I'm hoping to see here is just the pupa. And I can see the mealworms are almost, actually, almost already all gone. I'm gonna shake it again. And you can actually see the mealworms disappearing through those cracks. Now I know for sure, once I start using this more, I'm gonna get a feel for how to do this a little bit better. But I tell you what, folks, first shot here, I think that was pretty quick. It certainly beat hand picking all these pupa out. Okay, what I'm going to do next is pull this tray out, hopefully not make a mess, bring it over to my other tray here, dump it out. Let's see what we get. I get a couple of mealworms it looks like, but lots and lots of pupa. This, again, this is probably just me on how I'm doing this shaking, if I could get this mealworm. But you can see all the pupa. Let's take a look at the pan and see how we did with the pan. So looking at the pan, I do see a couple of pupa in here. 
You can see here's one, here's two. I see a couple more, not a lot. And you can see that we have more mealworms and we obviously have the dead mealworms and that's easy enough to pick out. We'll put those, this all back in a tray. We'll isolate the mealworms and all the dead ones will stay on one side and, the, and we'll put some um, vegetables on the other side and all the mealworms are congregate next to the vegetable. But I don't really see a whole lot of uh, pupa. I can look at the bottom here and we see lots and lots of mealworms in here because of this sorting tray. You can see that all the mealworms kind of came down and if I pull this out, you should see a lot of frass in there. This is a real nice sorting technique. I think it worked really, really well. Again, I think we counted four or five different pupa in here. What do you think, folks? Did this work? Would this save you time? I think it would save us a lot of time. When you get a whole tray full of the pupa and the beetles, and to be able to isolate those out quickly within 10, 15, 20 seconds, I think that's gonna save people a lot of time. It's gonna save us a lot of time. I'm going to go ahead and send the affiliate link down in this video in the description. Make sure that you click on that. And if you're interested in this sorting tray, I think I've got to tighten the screw here. Just click on that link and you'll be able to order yours today. Hey, if you keep mealworms, I have a couple of videos that you need to check out today because they will help you keep the mealworms better and healthier. Check them out right here. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next video.